Okie dokie. Georgians again. Let's go. Georgians Berbers. Okay. So. Georgians is going to have a tough time on this in this matchup, right? Because... Berbers with the cheap spam in the mid game, you can't compete with that. There's, he's just gonna have too many dudes. Oh, and he's laming the sheep. Yeah, this map you gotta watch out for the lamer boys because all your stuff spawns kind of in the middle usually. You always wanna scout the front of your base first anyways, just in general. But, um, oh, just missed him. You know that he stole it though, so you know to look for them. Let's see how this goes. Hey, Potini. Maybe you'll find them. There they are. Yeah, you don't know where he is, though. He's not stealing the boar, it looks like, though. Unlucky. He went the wrong way. But there was no way to really know. Um. Doki. Like pushing is very OP. Yeah, I don't know. We just need to not idle our TC ever. I think that's really the main thing. We're going to have so many extra resources coming in if we just don't idle the TC like this, right? This sieve is hard to not idle the TC because you start with less food. So you really have to be on top of the, the force dropping. This is this is another kind of high skill high skill um, sieve. Hey, Miss Go. Oh, wow. Can you lame the... You can lame the vill. Bruh, lame the vill. Oh man, you could have easily pushed the vill. I guess you'll go for the boar. Okay, nice. Oh my god. That's disgusting. You obviously do this a lot because um, your timing, it, it has to be pretty much perfect to only take one hit from the boar. <laughs> we took six HP from the boar. And we're laming. It's like six HP is two hits from the scout. Oh, you're getting a little too far away from it though. It's, it's kind of hard on the elo the elevated terrain, but yeah, we got so much idle, idle vill time, though. Like, look at this. Anyways, you'll take it. It's all good. But again, like 15 seconds idle TC. You actually don't? All right, well, well played with that. Um, okay. Nice. Georgian. Oh wait, yeah, Georgians has the uh, that bonus. I think it only hit you once still though, because it normally does 10 damage, right? The hill bonus is 25%, so mm, maybe he's got a fraction of HP. It doesn't show. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, it's whatever. We're gonna go for the mill. Nice. Uh, let's think about what we want to do in the next age though. I think since the matchup is bad, you really want to do damage in Feudal Age. And if you could find his second gold and just prevent him from taking gold, you can win. If you can't take gold, you can't make knights, you can't do anything. So I think you need to scout where his gold is. If his golds are forward, Tower Rush, Archers, do something. If you prevent him from taking gold, easy. Because you only have two golds in this map. You get two, three tile golds. One there. You didn't find your other one yet either. Um, yeah, this scout needs to be scouting, right? Live at coffee break. Oh, nice. Here we go. And here's me going passive. Yeah. Well, that's why we consider the matchup early, right? We need to know if the matchup is horrible. Basically, if you're a cavalry civ against Berbers, you're probably going to have a bad time. Um then you're gonna wanna be the aggressor in the Feudal Age because Berbers has only their 5% movement speed, or I guess it's 10% in Feudal Age of their their villagers until Castle Age. They basically are just a generic Civ until Castle Age, pretty much. So you really wanna be putting the pressure on them because you're gonna have some kind of bonus with pretty much any other Civ. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're up on 20. Okay, it's fine. Um. Wait, dude, just go to this wood line. The ox cart is right here. Or mule cart is right here. We don't need another one. Hi, yi yi. Hi, yi yi. Well, now we're not gonna be able to do anything in the next days because we don't have the wood, right? We don't have enough time to get the barracks and everything else. 
Need a barracks and then make the stable right away. So now it's like, we're just going Feudal Age eco Ecotex, which is not really a thing. Um, so I don't really think that we set up the game super well here. Doesn't really seem like you have much of a plan. Um, but obviously this Civ is hard to play. I'm not saying it's easy, but uh, definitely need to plan things out. And you need to know his base, because otherwise you're just guessing as to what to do anyways. <clears throat> He's walling. Oh, into the TC though. No, 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 go to the back. Man, you need to scout. Ay, ay, ay. You still basically know nothing. At least if you're going to go out, like go to the edge here. You need to know how his walls are set up. No, no, no. That's that's not worth your time. What is worth your time is getting a barracks. Where are they going now? Where are they going? Dude, there's a wood line right here. You gonna chop a straggler or something? Are they gonna go to the gold? I don't understand. Where are we going? You just wanna take this wood in particular instead of this wood. Uh, that's kind of weird. I don't really understand. Attacking one vill away from TC range. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Oh, it looks like we lost the vill. Let's go back and see how close we were to picking off a vill. Not even close. Yeah, you never should have been doing anything here. <laughs> kind of felt like that wood line was too far. Well, you just wall it in. It's fine. The, like, okay, so how long were these vills doing nothing? I just want to see, like right, right here. They're at zero percent. They're at okay. They're it's pretty. It pretty much took them a minute to go across. So this is five villagers, twenty-eight wood per minute. So you lost you lost a hundred and twenty-five wood by walking over here instead of just taking this wood. So that's a hundred and twenty-five. Like, would you spend a hundred and twenty-five wood to take this instead of this? I don't know. Like it seems fine to just wall it in. Maybe if you had scouting, like there's gonna be it's gonna be a wood line down here. Just like could maybe go down here. Even just taking this is fine. You just wall it in. It's whatever. I don't know. This is why we have military. If we have military, we can protect things too. Easy, send them. Okay, we got horse collar though. Pretty late stable, honestly, at this point. Do we even go stable? Well, you know he's going scouts now, so we gotta wall stuff in anyways. Oh, nice, nice attack there. Mark it, okay. Awkward walls though, like, you really didn't scout properly your map. You really need to know about this wood line here. You know about this, so you know that this is kind of, you need to take that eventually. Um, market, I probably would just go up to here first. How, how does this look? We don't have scouting, right? Like, you go market here, and then if, if you go here, and then here, easy walled. Get you, Lars. But of course, we don't have scouting, so we don't really know. Yo, see Sandem with the five. Nice, nice, nice. Want to play, but I don't have time. Well, if live through me, I am, you can be a, a 2k2 in your head. <laughs> All righty, nice, nice. Well, let's get going. I'm gonna be doing some one v ones right after this game. Um, okay, so blacksmith markets. Oh, ugly walls, ugly walls. And and you, do you see how this is all stemming from not walling? Like, or sorry, not wall, not scouting. It's like. You need to scout your map better, you need to scout the opponent's map better. Then you make better decisions with walling and stuff like that. This is so much more expensive than just going a little further out. <clears throat> and of course, you're gonna have to open the the map to get this gold as well, so pretty awkward. Um, we made one scout, at least if you're gonna make one scout, do stuff with it. Yeah, and well, of course he's gonna go for the the vill on the on the wall. Good micro by Blue, actually. He's doing some good slap micro here. Oh my god, actually he's a micro nerd. What is who is this guy? Holy moly! I guess he's fourteen hundred, so makes sense. But uh, yeah, 
<clears throat> um, um, <laughs> he's not coming from that direction. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, you just don't have scouting. You don't know how to wall because of no scouting. Wheelbarrow, all right, fair enough. But we're about to get to Berber's favorite time of the game is Castle Age. And, uh, well, two Eco lost, three Eco lost from Idle TC. Honestly, if you didn't lose any Vils here, then it would have been almost even, right? So again, we need an auto the TC until, well, we, we, ideally never, but uh, at least your Feudal Age should be like still pretty close to zero. Unless you're hitting some kind of really fast time, it requires you to stop build production for something. I don't know, maybe you, you decide to get a skirmisher instead of a, a villager because it's super important, but uh, it's probably not necessary here. Pretty much shouldn't be idling the TC at all. Uh, Kidoki. Oh, where's this guy going? Ay, 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 what was that? Weird pathing. Um, oh no, taking, what is this guy doing? So many idols. Our worker efficiency is just not great. The opponent's isn't perfect either, but yeah, I guess a lot of that's coming from the walling, right? These guys don't count as uh, working. Okay. <laughs> what did we just lead? Oh no! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the hitbox of these, or the click box of these things, is way too big. You click like up here. You click like this, and it clicks the the cart. It's so annoying. That's not even your fault. That's just like, well, obviously you should double check, but that's that's bound to happen. In game, it's disgusting how how chonky these things are compared to how they look. <clears throat> Anyways, you're up slightly faster, but what can you do? So far behind economically, you kind of have to go like Monkus, Monk Pike. Monk Pike is pretty good. So Georgian's special bonus is that when they build churches, their fortified churches, they give a 10% bonus to all villagers, like to their work rate, in a 10 tile area. Or 10 tile, does it say 10 tile radius? Anyway, so it's like, yeah, it's like a bit bigger than the TC or something, I think. So you get a church here, you get a church here, and then suddenly all your farmers are super good. <clears throat> We're gonna go knights, though. Knights against Berbers who have camels? That's gonna be a problem. Like, cheap camels against... I guess you can go knight pike, but he could just go also knight pike and he would be having them cheaper. Knights plus a lot of monks. Okay, maybe. It's not bad. Definitely want to get those uh, churches down. Wait, he was not even attacking the right palisade. That wasn't even been, that wouldn't have been even letting him in. Does it allow to break the farming limit? Uh, I don't know if it makes your farms regrow faster. I would doubt it does. Because that's based on like the farms grow food at a certain rate. And that rate is 24 food per minute. But, I mean, the Slavs bonus does break it, so... Yeah, it would need some testing. So we got one church here. We got one church on this side. I mean, I probably would have built a church here to, to affect these guys, and then one like here. One here, and then one here. And then it affects, like, the entire economy. This one is kind of if you're... I guess you're taking stone, so it'll... I think it affects that. Oh! There is a, oh wait, no, that, that line is its range. I don't know what its, um, its effective range for the, uh, the bonuses though. Here come the camels. He's ahead economically, so it's not like you can really add a TC. You kind of just have to go full military and hope it's good. And that's why I think pikemen was probably very important because you need a hard counter unit to actually fight him. Monks are great. But, uh, yeah. Ten tiles. Add four tiles to the circle. So it goes all the way out to here. Dang, that's huge. <laughs> I 
Okay, nice job keeping the scouts out, though. And you did get yourself a camel. Whoa, he's got plus two armor? That's insane, that's so expensive. This Berber player should have just chilled. He should have gone three TC chill. Chill mode activated. Wait, we're gonna... That's not gonna work. <laughs> we are not gonna have enough here. Apparently the fortified church effect is actually a square. Well, yeah, it makes sense. It should be like the full work, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. You just don't have enough. Just fall back to the hill at least. Man, don't, don't take a fight that you're obviously gonna lose. The pathing in this game. <laughs> pathing. <laughs> yeah, feels bad, man. No need to take fights that you lose, though. I guess you, you're you gonna auto heal all your guys. Still, he's he's so far ahead because he, he's probably booming three TCs from the start of Castle Age, right? Oh no, he's only on two. He should have been on three, though. No reason for him not to be on three. Measured eight towels from the edge of the church. Wait, eight tiles from the edge. So it's, so the center of the church is like in between the tile? Or wait, no, it's a three by three, so it's, um, I guess it's from the center, of, the center of the middle of the tile, I don't know, anyways. <clears throat> oh, nice, oh, kill that weak one. No, 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 just run. Uh, you get it? No, losing that camel feels bad. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm playing. Anyways, <clears throat> he's still hacking away there. Your army's not bad though. Nice. Let's pick up the relic maybe. But uh, wait, we're going light cav. Man, you can't afford to go light cav here. I don't think. I think you just gotta spam knights. Light Cav? That's not gonna contribute, really. He's got like one, one monastery. I think if you just don't make Light Cav, you just make more knights. Maybe it's okay, more knights and monks. Manaspas are pretty strong, yeah. Oh, he's gonna get a castle. Yeah, you, you don't share the center for very long in this. I would love to see that relic be picked up, though. Well, you see this, but you don't have enough. Tacking into Light Cav was kind of a waste. Uh, yeah, I mean, you will never get to the back in time. And he knows how to quick wall. So you just have to give up this area. Man, don't lose your army though. I guess he's missing all. You see there, all right. Oi, losing one. Okay. Now you're kind of stuck. It's like, what unit can you even do? I guess you could try Manaspa, but it's, I don't know. The opponent's eco is way too ahead. You had too much idle TC early and then you lost two vills in Feudal Age. You lose two vills in Feudal Age, and then suddenly you gotta be like, okay, I need to do damage, otherwise my opponent's just gonna snowball. The opponent is kind of snowballing here, right? He got his third TC earlier, obviously. Oh no, he's still two TC, what is he doing? Okay, you're just hiding the TC a lot, I guess. That's the main thing. Um. Yeah, he's, he's consistently 10 vills ahead though. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Random build. Wait, where did he come from? Guess he's dead. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. You can't really push this. You're kind of stuck here. I guess. I don't even know what I would do from this situation. It's like. It's kind of tricky. I guess. Try and go for a castle and go trebs, like go imp. And then just, you'd have to wall in your dude. I think you'd have to go pikes, like pikes and trebs, something like that. Do Georgians have bombard cannons? Let's see, I'll just check. Uh, they do not. <clears throat> they have everything else though. 
in the in the thing. Do they have siege engine? Yeah, they have siege engineers as well. That castle is not very good though. I think if you're gonna go for a castle, it should be on the high ground. You have to give up this area first, or I don't know. Like he he's actually just clicked up. This game is over. He just this is an eco win. Like there's not even a solution that you can do here because it's a bad matchup and he just has the better eco. So bad matchup, better eco, better technology, better military. Like he he has every advantage. You have zero advantages here. So I think we needed some more aggression in the mid game. Oh yeah, definitely. Both the new civs, they're they're hard to use, but they're very good if you can play them. Believe. I don't believe, unfortunately. We'd have to do a raid that he just doesn't see and he loses like 40 bills. Even then, it's not even enough. Because he's going to have the tech advantage. He's just going to make two trebs and then everything's gone. I mean, he does have a base here that is gonna have like no defense. So maybe we don't raid under the castle. Are we gonna do this the uh, the epic micro here? Let's see it. Monk micro, where is it? Oh, we don't know the idle military micro. Would have been so much better. Yeah, you have to task them to a resource to get them to fall follow. If you just have them built, then they don't follow a resource. Oh, he's almost through. Okay, this is two villagers that are not working. So, oh, and the the efficiency shows it that they're working. So repair bills add to that. That's kind of weird. Ay ay ay. So we probably should have dealt with this a while ago because this isn't. It's not free. This is actually really expensive to have two bills just repairing this. And he's in. This is this is just over. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. There's there's no way. <laughs> it's just over. Yeah. So the matchup was bad. We needed to probably just go one TC all in. I think pikes would have been really good here. And uh, yeah, we just chilled. Chilled a little too long. Why no pikes? Well, it's because 1300 is very hard. Sometimes you just don't think of what you need while playing. <laughs>